Is the new Mecha Clip strong? That's what we're gonna find out. I'm gonna be going over stats, ability, implants, builds, counters, and viability. Let's go. And if you do enjoy the video, consider liking and subscribing. I'd appreciate it a ton. So Eclipse is a legendary mech with 24 energy capacity. He has 170,400 base HP, which is the same as Surge and Redox. And with a legendary pilot, that becomes 238,560 HP. His HP is actually pretty good for a scout mech and his movement speed is 28 kilometers per hour which is one less kilometer per hour than all the other scout mechs all the other scout mechs have a movement speed of 29 kilometers per hour while he has a movement speed of 28 kilometers per hour and his cooldown is eight seconds which is the same as zephyr shadow and redox and with the legendary ability cooldown in play his cooldown becomes 5.6 seconds i think the ability cooldown in play is important on him since when his ability is not active he's vulnerable Vulnerable. And his ability duration is 12 seconds, which is the same as Juggernaut and Shadow. He actually has a pretty long duration. And with the legendary ability duration in play, his duration becomes 15.6 seconds. And his hitbox is actually much bigger than all the other scout mechs. Since he has the wings on both sides, it makes him really wide and have a big hitbox. His hitbox is about as big as Guardian and Panther. So since he's a bit bigger and slower than all the other scout mechs, he's a bit easier to hit. So his ability gives him a stealth just like with Shadow, Surge, and Tango. But what also his ability does is make him immune to all debuffs. It makes him immune to stun, overheat, stasis, implosion, shock, and corrosion. So stun is from Zephyr, Bastion, and Surge. Overheat is from Long Arms and Thermal Lances. Stasis is from Stasis Beams, Panther, Orion, and Redox. Implosion is from Graviton Beams. Graviton Beams barely deal any damage to Eclipse. And shock is from Arcturant and Voltaic RPG. It's the thing that messes up your aim. And corrosion is the damage that Redox's ability deals. Eclipse is actually immune to Redox's ability damage. And Eclipse's ability also gives him a speed boost. I calculated it and it gives him a 20% speed boost. Shadow's ability also gives him a 20% speed boost. And Paragon's ability gives him a 49% speed boost, which is pretty surprising. So his speed boost makes his movement speed from 28 kilometers per hour to 33.6 kilometers per hour. This makes him the second fastest fastest mech in the game behind Shadow. His speed boost makes his mobility really good. So Eclipse has one mech specific implant which is the Phase Cloak Speed Implant. This implant increases his ability's speed boost by 15%. So it makes his movement speed while he's using his ability from 33.6 to 38.6 kilometers per hour. I don't think this implant is worth it since a 50% speed boost is not much. Plarium should buff the speed boost to 30 or 40%. So the best build on Eclipse is by far the dual EM rifle 12s. Eclipse EM is one of the strongest builds in the game. It's a super strong ambush build so you can sneak up on enemies and blast them with the EMs. You could also use the dual railgun 12s on Eclipse, but the EMs are much better. The EMs have much better damage and reload. And in 2v2s and 1v1s, Eclipse with dual missile rack 12s is a super strong build. You just sneak up on enemies and splash them to death with the missile racks. Eclipse EMs is a super strong CPC and 5v5 build, while Eclipse missile racks is a super strong 2v2 and 1v1 build. So Eclipse gets countered really bad by Guardian. If Eclipse gets into Guardian's range, Guardian will completely destroy him. And Eclipse is also super vulnerable to Splash. So he's really vulnerable to Dis Launchers and Missile Racks. The reason for this is that when his stealth is active, Dis Launchers and Missile Racks can easily get back damage on him. So although his ability is good at close range, I wouldn't recommend using him at close range since he gets destroyed by Dis Launchers and Missile Racks. This is why using him at long range and using him with a build like the EM is a good idea. And he also gets wrecked by EM rifles and railguns. If he gets shot by them, he's going to get one shot most of the time. So Eclipse is a really good mech in every game mode. In 2v2s, he's a really good ambush mech with missile racks. In CPC, he's a super strong beacon capture mech. You can capture beacons without the enemy team ever noticing. And in 5v5, he's really good at running around and ambushing enemies. Eclipse is also really good in all stages of the game. He's really strong early game, mid game, and late game. 
So is Eclipse worth it to get? I think he's an S tier mech and definitely worth it to get. He's probably the fifth best mech in the game behind Panther. I don't think he's better than Surge or Redeemer and I wouldn't replace them in your hangar for him. I think this is going to be the best hangar in the game now. I think every meta hangar is going to have these five mechs in it. Before people would have mechs like Killshot, Stalker, Aegis, and Orion as their fifth slot, but now I think most people are going to have Eclipse at that fifth slot. Eclipse is a really strong mech, but I don't think he's a must have mech. I think if you have Killshot instead of him, you'll still do pretty good. But if you want to get a solid 5th mech in your hangar, then it's definitely a good idea to do so. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and see you guys.